Imagine you are on a multi-day bikepacking trip with friends. The roads are fine, the weather is nice, and the views are majestic. You're rolling on miles after miles. But then, the dreaded saddle sores hit. So in this video, I'm gonna test five different chamois creams. And as I set up the test area, here are some short history for you. Before the 1930s, chamois pads didn't exist and riders used normal sport shorts. Imagine riding hundreds of miles in your normal shorts. In the early 1940s, the demands for specific cycling clothing was getting higher and shorts made of wool or cotton cut for the movements of cycling was being produced. Also, a chamois of sheep leather was being inserted. Early chamois creams were also invented, but more to use as a softener for the leather than for the human skin. Later in the 40s, manufacturers started using deer skin instead of sheep, since it was softer and more supple. During the 60s, some synthetics were getting integrated into cycling wear, but the leather chamois remained. In the mid-80s, the chamois technology started to evolve. A type of Japanese microfiber appeared in Europe and manufacturers found a way to add padding to the chamois and ditch the leather. A new chamois cream was developed to help minimize friction and discomfort rather than used to help softening the leather. Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you want to see some more bikepacking adventure, check out the video up here. Uh, and are you like me and have had saddle sores from now and then? Uh, are you using chamois, chamois creams? I used it. I used it for a couple of years now, and it, it is uh, a game changer, I would say, because the main benefits of chamois cream is uh, reduced friction and chafing. Uh, they have antibacterial and antifungal properties. Uh, it makes for a better comfort on the saddle and also it makes you ride, it helps you ride for longer. So today we're going to test five different chamois creams from four different brands. Uh, but how are we going to test them you say? because it is a bit difficult to test them where they are meant to go uh, on the body. I have set up a test uh, that, I, that I call for S or force. Catchy. Um, yeah, so the four S stands for smell, uh, smeariness. I don't know if smeariness is a word, but uh, what, I, what I mean with smearness is really, uh, well, the consistency of the, of the creams. Uh, and uh, the third one is uh, senseness. Sense, maybe. How the cream feels on the skin. And the fourth and last one is stickiness, I have called it. So it is how, how easy it is to dry it off your hands or fingers and hands when you have uh, massaged the cream to the skin. So that's the four S's. So let's start. So the ones uh, we are going to test today is uh, Morgan Blue Soft Chamois Cream. Morgan Blue Solid Chamois Cream, Mac of Luxury Chamois Cream, Elite Protect Cream Chamois, and Asus Chamois Cream. So the first one is Smell. I don't know if smell is that important really because yeah where you put this it doesn't smell too good I guess 
not af- not at least after been after you've been riding for a couple of hours but yeah it it can be nice with a good smell at least your fingers will smell good it's a bit nasty to talk about this isn't it ah no i don't know as a cyclist it is it it is a good thing using chamois cream so so the first one morgan blue soft chamois cream bit tough to open yeah it comes in uh, one time uh, application pouch if you want to stop on the ride have this in the back pocket stop on the ride and massage in i don't know I guess you need to get go somewhere somewhere private to do this. But yeah, let us see. Mm. Quite a, a fresh scent from this one. And if you think I I put the nose on it, I haven't I haven't used this any any anywhere. Well, I open it right now, but not any any one of these I haven't used. Uh, directly on any sensitive areas. <laughs> ah, quite fresh. And then we have the Morgan Blue solid one. Ah. Vaseline. It smells Vaseline. We have the Makov. Uh, a perfumey scent from this one. And then we have the Elite Protect Cream Chamois. Body lotion. Yeah. And then the Asus one. Uh, yeah, quite similar to the Elite one. Body lotion scent from, from this one also. Uh, yeah, best smell. It's one of these two. Uh, I think uh, Makov is the one that uh, wins this round. Slightly before the Morgan Blue soft one. Because I think this is, yeah, it's fresh, fresh scent from it. A bit perfumey, but still fresh. So to the next one. Uh, it's about the funny word of smeariness. Uh, so once again, started starting with Morgan Blue. Soft chamois cream. It's, it is, uh, oh, it's quite light in the consistency. And when you massage it, massages it, it, it sort of get a, a, almost a fluidy consistency. So it's very light in the consistency, yeah. So yeah, kind of watery feeling when you massage it, is it? When you feel it on the fingers. Yes, and we have the Mac Off Chamois Cream. A bit thicker in the consistency. 
uh, and a bit greasier when you when you get it on the skin. I guess the Morgan Blues, the soft one, will will dissipate quite uh, quickly. Is it called dissipate? Well, it's uh, it will. I guess the skin will absorb it a bit quicker than than the Mac Off one. Then we have the Morgan Blue solid one, and this one is yeah, it is Vaseline, so it is. Uh, I guess it is um, uh, more for for to be used uh, more at um, yeah weather weather riding consistency weather riding conditions um, because this one will last longer and you have oh it is a really greasy feeling on the on the fingers with this one it's just uh, yeah, really slippery feeling with that one, and uh, really oily, greasy. I think you can put put it on the lips if you need need something. Sounds kind of disgusting, but yeah. And then we have the Elite Protect Cream, uh, and yeah, a bit hard, even thicker consistency than the Makoff. Uh, a bit hard to get out of the tube, but uh, yeah. Also quite greasy. Using it between the fingers, just rubbing it in, it feels. Yeah, it also gets quite a uh, liquidy consistency. So it's it's the consistency getting it out of the tube is quite. You think it is a, a really thick cream, but when you get it on the fingers and rubbing it, it get a bit watery also. So I guess the skin will absorb it quite quick. And finally, the Asso Swan. Also quite thick consistency, but that one also gets kind of, kind of um, uh, light when you rub it between the fingers. It's a bit more greasy than the Elite one. So it, it is creating a bit of a barrier between the skin and the, I guess, the chamois. It will be, yeah, while well, the Morgan Blue soft one and the Elite one get so watery that it doesn't really create a barrier. I guess it, yeah, the Morgan Blue and the Elite one doesn't really create a barrier. Uh, while the Asus and the Mac Off and of course the solid Morgan Blue one creates a definite, definite barrier. This round, I think it goes to Asos because it was kind of light but still creating a barrier on the skin. On to the third one, which is the senseness on the hand. Starting with the Morgan Blue soft one. Quite, uh, yeah, it is light, but I feel a cooling effect on the on the hand straight away. And the Makov one, also, well, not that much cooling. I feel a bit of ah, some cooling, but not much actually from that one the Morgan blue solid one oh this is really <laughs> yeah really Vaseline uh, 
not any feeling of any special uh, cooling or something like that on the skin. It just it just it just sticks to the skin and, and creates a thick barrier. Um, the elite one. Yeah, this one also cools quite a bit. Yeah, quite similar to the Morgan Blue Soft one. And trying the Asus. Yeah, also, also a cooling effect when it is applied on the skin. I feel like a makeup <laughs> artist or something. Uh, but my hands get uh, really soft and moist now, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, the Asos is uh, a bit more... It's a definite more coolness effect than the Elite one. Yeah, I think the Asos... This round goes to Asos, actually, because the immediate coolness effect from it was was the best so yeah this one and the final round is stickiness I almost tested this it's quite a it's quite a similar test as the consistent uh, as the smeariness um, but yeah it is I think it is uh, nice to get most of the the uh, chamois cream of the hands before you go out and ride. Maybe you're gonna have gloves on. It isn't that nice to have this. The creams left on the on the fingers. But the Morgan Blue soft one is quite light, so it's easy to just wipe off with a with a tissue or something. And the solid Morgan Blue harder. It's hard to, I, I, I have used the solid one for quite a time, so I know it is hard to get off the hands, even when you're when you're uh, washing the hands, because it it creates such a thick barrier on the hands, so it it uh, the water drip driplets are only doesn't really do anything against the the cream. The Makov one is. Uh, yeah, it's it's also fairly easy to get off the hands. The elite one also get that liquidy light feeling, so that's that is also easy to get off. The Asos, well, the Asos created quite a bit of barrier, so it is a bit harder to get off, but it isn't hard in that sense because you can get it off with a tissue or or. Or wash the hands, so it's quite okay. But this uh, final round goes to. Uh, I have to be the Morgan Blue Soft Chamois Cream, because it is so light, so you get it off fairly easy, and also, yeah, it leaves quite a good scent on the fingers. But so there you have it. Of course, you can test this in a more scientific way than this but at least you get some some information out of this at least i hope you get some information out of this uh, you can do a long time test and riding with it but it be it will be all it will also be quite um, quite hard to test it that way but yeah now i love to hear from you do you use chamois cream which brand do you like the best? And do you have any tips or tricks? Do you use the Chamois cream directly on the skin or on the Chamois pad? Uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, if you think this was, this was useful, hit that like button. And I see you in the next one. Ciao.